So now that we created all the methods required for the topics, let's move on to create methods for our posts. But in this case, posts are related to topics. As you can see in this database, our posts have a column of topic ID. By looking at this field, we can get to know that this particular post is related to which topic. Like this row or this post has the topic ID of 2. That means this post is related to the topic which has the ID of 2. So let's create these associations in CakePHP. Create a model for our post. So create a new file and save it as post.php and write a code php class post which always extends app model if you remember while we created topic by baking then we were asked for the associations and we say that the topic has many posts and in the post model we'll associate our posts with the topic so create a variable public dollar sign belongs to and that equals to our topic model this is how CakePHP gets to know that which model associated to which model. And now create a controller for our posts. So inside the controller folder, make a new file and save it as posts controller.php. Open PHP, close PHP, our class posts controller stands app controller the very first method that we would like to make is add so create a function public function add let's save that and we also create a view. So go inside the view and create a new folder and we name it as posts. And inside posts, create a new file and save it as add.ctp. Let's save that. And this add.ctp for our posts is pretty much like the add method of topics so open add.cdp and copy all this code close this and paste it inside our add.cdp for our posts so let's change this heading and create a new post and this time we are creating post so our post model and then go to our database as of now we only need to supply only these two values the topic id and the body so this would be our topic id and this one for our body and on the button we write create topic let's save this and test it in our browser so instead of topics this is our posts add and you can see that there's a drop down list for our topic because of the naming convention of geek php and it knows because this post has to be related to some topic so that's popping up a list for our topic but there are no values and we'll fix this but you can see that the form has generated accordingly so go to your posts controller and copy the add function from our topic controller 
Siguru controller, Tapix controller. Let's copy this code and paste it inside. That's pretty much the same. We only need to change the model. So instead of topic, this would become post here too. And we change our message. The post has been created. And as of now, we have not made this index method. So let's comment this out. So we'll work on this later. And you can see we are using session for the set flash. So we also need to copy the component variable. Let's copy this and paste it here. Let's save that and let's try to add a post. So we write my brand new post. I actually forgot to change the text on this button. So that's not actually a great topic, but that's a great post. But we click it now. So there's a flash message that says the post has been created. And we can check this in our database by going into posts. And you can see my brand new post has been added. Let's fix this button. So go to add.cdp instead of topic. This is post. And time now to fix this topic. What we actually want that we want to pop up all the topics that are inside the database. So go to your controller and right after this if statement, we need to set a variable. So this set Here goes the name of the table which is topics because we want to grab all the values from topics table. Dollar sign this and as we are working on the post model, so post, then it's topic and we want to use the find method but instead of all we want to pop up a list. So that is list and the line and reload and you can see that all the topics have been generated in this drop down list and we can select any topic like test 3 and this is the post for test 3 create post the post has been created and we can check it now so this is the post for task 3 and the topic id for this row is 4 and check for the topics 4 is the id for task 3 so that works fine so this is how we post any model which has the association with any other model and now quickly create some methods like viewing and indexing and also for deletion. So let's copy this all from our topics controller. First of all, we want to see any particular post. So copy this, paste it here. And instead of topic, this would be our post. So post and one for indexing. So copy the index function, paste it again instead of topic. This would be our post model, and this time this will be posts plural. Now quickly create some views so inside posts create new file save it as index.ctp and copy from our topics view let's copy this 
paste and make some changes like topics this would be our posts so we only want to show the id and the topic id let's remove all these things this would be our posts post 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 model and we want to show the id first and this would go to the post controller and the action is view and that will take the parameter for the post id we don't want these things remove these lines too let's copy this line and paste it and this time instead of id we want a topic id and this will also go to that particular post let's unset the post save that and go to the posts index method and you can see our posts are now listed now create another view for our view method create new file save it as view.ctp let's save that and copy the view from the topics copy inside view of posts paste it and instead of topic this is our post variable post and our body and whenever I try to click on any particular post so that goes to posts view one and we can see the task body which is the body of that text try another one it's my brand new post so as you can see that all our methods are now working and you can create another method like delete as we created that in our topics controller but you can see that whenever we try to add something we need to select the topic from here but what we want to do instead we want to go to the topics and then click on any topic and we want a link to be appeared here so that we can add a post to this particular topic let's do this in our next movie